Welcome to Special One TV. We have now entered squeaky bum time of season. So you have been doing it on me, twittering me, YouTubing me like Billio. Wayne and It have also been twittering like a pair of tweets. Yeah, you can now tweet me at the boy like. Oh well, and if you feel like you want to tweet me, uh, you can. Very good. Oh well. One in from Bobby in Bulgaria. Hi Jose, do you have any idea who took first penalty for United versus Everton in last Sunday's FA Cup semi-final? Was it Berbatov or the wind? Wayne? Yeah, Dimitar is experiencing a crisis in confidence there. But this one, this is a classic. Very good. This comes in from Ricky in Gloucester. It goes, what's the difference between Alan Shearer and Newcastle? I don't know, Wayne. Shearer will be on match of the day next season. <laughs> Very nice, Ricky. This exclusive Special One TV t-shirt is on its way to you for your contribution to this week's show. Oh, well, uh, by the way, uh, did you know that we spelt uh, Didier's name incorrectly last week? Oh. Oh, what? The news. My top story. It's official. A glimmer of hope has begun to peek through the clouds of recession. Following the boy Rooney's groundbreaking report on managers on the oh, dole last week, at least one manager the secured a new position for himself in Ipswich Town. And he joins us now on the line. Congrats on new position, Roy. Hello. How does it feel to be a tractor boy, Roy? Yeah, credit to agricultural machinery as a whole. Uh, but to be fair, I just want to thank the boy Rooney for bringing my plight to the fore at the end of the day. Your tenure at Sunderland came a cropper over what was known as the Bonio Affair. Yeah. Can you assure Ipswich fans there will be no repeat? Again, all credit to K9 Snacks, um, but I have an ironclad contract which ensures Trigger's best interest. And now that you're back in the game, Roy, mm -hmm. everyone at Special One TV is looking forward to working with you a lot more. Yeah, well, once the boy and the bullpad there show up on time for rehearsals and give the show 100%, uh, we get along fine. If they don't, then it'll be a brief relationship. Thank you, Roy. Thank you. And it really has been Wayne's week. For not only was he tackling the recession and scoring goals that put Man U on top of the table, he also became internet sensation with YouTube hits neck and neck with Susan Boyle's record of 100 million. I dream the dream in time gone by. When hope was high and life worth living. Phones, line one. Voyeur, I have bone to pick with you. What bone? What was going on with that stupid little dance of yours against Villarreal? I don't know what you're talking about. Show him, Sven. Oh, well, I was only fooling around. I, Do I it. Would... Do the dance of the voyeur. Well. We're waiting. Um, well, it was it was only sort of a little... Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, 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 ha, ha, yeah, yeah, ha. Wayne? Yeah, technically it was lachen, I'm afraid. Oh, well, nobody said anything about judging and... Uh, I... Your execution was suspect. What? And phrasing was practically non-existent. I'm sorry. Hello? What is going on, please? Line two, Rafa? Uh, Jess, I agree. I think it is uh, ridiculous for the manager of the club to be doing the dancing. Very good. How's the basketball going, Rafa? What basketball? Every game. 4-4. Four, four. You score, they score, you score, they score. You are like the Magic Johnson, Rafa. What happened to glory days of prosaic 1-0 victories? But always we try to win. You have four against Arsenal, but then Voyeur has Ars shaven four times. Ah, uh, tank please. But it's true. Bet you wish you had Ars shaven, eh, Rafa? Clear. Line three, Mr. Alex. Are you causing trouble again, Rafa? Uh, Mr. Ferguson, why are you uh, still getting involved in something that is not your business? Well, I think you'll find that... Sorry. What was that you just did? What was what? Did you just make a gesture at me? Sorry? Playboy, you're a witness to that. Did you see that? Well, it was debatable, Mr. Alex. But, Rafa, it could be interpreted that... What is debatable? I am on the phone. Ah, oh, here we go again. I'm getting tired of these crackpot explanations. Oh, the grass was wet. CVG was injured. Oh, I was on the phone. Voyeur, your judgment? Well, I was not in a position to see it, but from where I am, but I can... see what? I have done nothing. See that? The boy's arrogance knows no bounds. Arrogant? Me? First Big Sam, then accusing a great big club, a huge club like Everton, of being a small wee little club. If they are such a big club... Then why did you put your under-14s against them? How dare you? What is wrong with putting out under-14s? I put out my strongest team against that big, huge club. Ah, yes? Really? Wayne? Yeah? Did you play? Uh, well, uh, 
Well, you see, the thing was that, uh... No, he didn't, and neither did I. Fact. Arrogant. Arrogant. Me. Shut up, Namtis. Fact. That's the problem with this season. Ever since I left, there is far too much arrogance. Well, black kettles and some pots and lots of calling. Shut up, Sven. Be champions. (laughs) 